We begin at five with a disease that's killing deer in many Michigan communities. The Department of Natural Resources continues to track what's called EHD. The DNR says outbreaks this time of year is not unusual, but the impact is larger this year. Their tenure science, Jeremiah Brown, spoke with a woman who has seen what it's doing in her community. He joins us now. Hi, Jeremiah. Yeah, good evening, Julia and Elena. Elizabeth Clark says they would typically see dozens of deer a day in their area, but today she told me it's like a ghost town. While not as big as the largest outbreak we've had in 2012. The DNR has found EHD in 11 counties and says there has been at least 2,000 reported deer deaths so far. We've been wandering out on a property and noticed the smell of death everywhere and it's just a putrid odor. Um, out by the pond there was at least four carcasses that were floating in the pond and I thought that was really odd. Elizabeth Clark refers to her area in Van Buren County as Deer Alley for the large amount of deer they typically see. Usually in the fields at night you see 10, 20 um, grazing at any given time throughout the numerous fields here in Goebbels. But lately she says it's been quiet. There's no deer. Um, a couple of friends and I went out yesterday and about four hours spent driving all the back roads and didn't see anything. The Department of Natural Resources has been tracking epizootic hemorrhagic disease in local deer populations for months, a disease that spreads to deer from midge flies. Usually showing up in September, the DNR says the virus was detected in July, a trend seen with a warm spring, a wet late summer, and a hot and dry August. So that gives that virus many more weeks to run its course, um, which results in a a much higher mortality um, across the landscape. We tend to see that it's very localized. So some areas will have severe impact to their local deer populations. Um, in those areas, um, there will be much, much fewer deer um, this fall, especially if you're a hunter, uh, you're gonna see far fewer deer this year. However, we, we do see deer populations locally recover within a few years. But this virus is prompting many questions. They died in my pond. Do I need to excavate some of that soil and get the decontamination, you know, like get it out of there? Like, I don't want all my deer dying of EHD. Um, there's no human health or safety concerns. We don't see any concerns of pets or livestock. This virus does not spread through infected carcasses. While the DNR says it is still perfectly safe to continue hunting deer, Clark says it's still a big loss. Deer, you know, their brothers are sacred to us. And, you know, just to see this devastation, it's heartbreaking um, deep inside. The DNR also urges people to report deer deaths through the online Eyes in the Field report form. This helps them to better understand the volume of impacted deer and to develop future strategies. In the newsroom, Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.